So what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and I hope everybody's having a great day. In this video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 tips to get better at Apex Legends. Now, whether you've been playing for a couple days or you're brand new, you've not touched the game at all, these tips are going to help you ease you into the game a bit better, get you more familiar with all the mechanics and how everything works, and just overall help you be a better player. Now, before we get started on this list, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more Apex Legends, be sure to leave a like rating as that'll show me this is something that you want to see more of. And make sure that you are subscribing if you're new to the channel. I plan on uploading way more Apex Legends, so if that's your thing, this is going to be the channel for you and last but not least if you guys would like to join my discord server if you want people to play apex legends with then go and check the link in the description join the server anybody and everybody is welcome and go there make some friends with that all out of the way though ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and get started tip number 10 today is going to be just your looting overall and your inventory management and this is actually a really underrated important part of the game a big part of determining your performance from match to match is how quickly you can loot how efficiently you can do it and of course how well your teammates can do that as well so when it comes to looting in this game especially it's it's really easy to pick up a lot of stuff that you don't need whether it's right off the ground you can pick up stuff that won't even attach to your weapon or ammo types that you're not even using or when you're looting other bodies normally they'll have an x over the things signifying that you can't use this with your current setup so it's normally great just to drop those things immediately if you're not using them because it's going to free up a lot of space now the way to get more space in this game is of course take higher tier level backpacks which can be hard to find sometimes but i found that normally if you can get at least the blue backpack and make it to the end of the game that'll have more than enough space to carry everything you need as far as ammo meds and uh, nades everything like that i will say this though make ammo and meds especially like your shields and just whatever can give you health a priority things like grenades and then other attachments that you want to use for a different weapon down the road don't hang on to those or at least don't make them a priority if it comes down to taking ammo or meds because those are the two most important things in this game and will often be the deciding factor of whether you win or lose the match coming in today at the number nine spot is running with your weapons holstered or put away now this is a good habit to get into it's pretty obvious and it makes it clear if you play the training mode that running with your weapons away will make you go faster and it's just a good thing to be overall if you're not engaged in a gunfight just have them away there's no reason to have them out you want that extra movement speed no matter what you're doing and of course even if like you can put your gun away mid gunfight and you need to reposition you want to get there quickly like you'll get better with it over time but it's just a really good habit to get yourself into if you're not already doing it then at least just try to make a conscious effort to do it and then eventually it'll be muscle memory whenever you're just running and you're going to the next looting zone you're gonna have your gun away the whole time and likely get there before either your teammates who don't have their guns away or other squads that might be have their eyes on the same place for the most part the only time you should be running with your gun out is when you know there's a gunfight imminent somebody's approaching or you're being already watched and you need to reposition to an area but you might have to use your gun anyway so most of the time if you're just not under any pressure just put your gun away tip number eight is going to be having a good team composition now this is often referred to as the meta if you have a really good team comp and i think we're too early on to decide exactly what the meta is currently i think that's going to be figured out relatively soon what characters work well together but i would say that there is ways to put together fast squads that are aggressive and then ones that are a little bit more passive and that like to play back and kind of take their enemies that way and still perform consistently either way you can do that to make an aggressive squad i really think that right now wraith bangalore and bloodhound are great for a squad that plays fast now if that's not you and you want to play a little bit more passive i would honestly consider going for gibraltar lifeline and wraith wraith seems to be a good cornerstone for any good team composition you can play a bunch of different play styles with her but just have her at some point at, at the on the team but just play around with different compositions and, and figure out what you and your friends like to run and how you guys play like i said earlier though i think eventually soon there will be a meta in the team that sh you should be running that will objectively help you perform the best but hopefully that gets switched up by new heroes and stuff like that later in the future but we'll have to wait and see tip number seven is making full use of your character's abilities now the way that you can normally do this is obviously pay attention to whatever your passive is so for example if you're playing wraith wraith will literally call out if you're being targeted so you can use that to either help track down enemies or even scout out a bit and her cooldown ability is basically a get out of jail free card that cools down every 20 minutes and you can reuse you can escape the battlefield turn in almost invisible and escape whatever situation you're in i just see a lot of people playing wraith not taking full advantage of the abilities that make you powerful and this goes for every other character as well i really like playing bangalore and the cooldown ability is that you can throw two smoke grenades that instantly explode and you can use this for a variety of different things you can use it to escape reviving teammates putting up a smoke screen that people can't shoot through everything like that right i get that some of the ultimates require a lot of forethought like wraith's portal and the the care package so th when it comes to these ones it's really just about communication and talking to your team when you want to use these and how you want to use them but the better you get into a habit of it the better you perform overall tip number six is using the ping system and the entire menu that it gives you now this is the most important tool when you're playing with the squad that you're not talking to right and fortunately since there's only trios in this and you can you have to play with other players basically it's important that you communicate regardless because there are going to be other squads that are not only using their ping 
systems, but are also talking on microphones. So the least you can do is use your menu to at least t talk to your teammates about what kind of equipment you found or if you spotted enemies. This is far and away the best battle royale that has communication, even if you're not talking to people. I'd say the most important in your ping menu is the one that tracks enemies and can spot them. And now you can call them out to your teammates and show exactly where their position is. And you can keep recalling this one out to trace their position if they're moving and can give exact numbers on where that person's at. Other useful things in your ping system are like meds and attachments and especially ammo. That's a huge thing if you're playing with a team that you're not talking to. Tip number five is don't take the Mozambique. Now, I mean, that that kind of sounds like a troll tip and in a way it is, but I'm also, I'm also kind of not kidding with that. This might quite literally literally be the worst weapon I've used in a video game ever. I don't know who designed this weapon and why it's in this game. If it gets a buff, it's going to be better, sure, but I don't know if that's even going to happen. But stay away from this gun at all costs, and I'm not I'm not even joking. You might be better off trying to punch somebody than using that weapon. It just hits for a pitiful amount of damage if you don't land the pellets and it only shoots three, so that weapon makes me want to vomit. Take anything else in the game, I beg of you, but stay away from that, and honestly, I wouldn't even be mad if Apex Legends just removed this from the game entirely. Tip number four, though, is going to be using your slide. This is a serious tip. This is something that I actually recommend that you do. Now, the sliding mechanic in this game is pretty interesting. You can do some fascinating things, and you may be surprised how powerful it really is. Now, the first and most obvious thing you can do with this slide is, of course, go downhill. You'll pick up a ton of speed and momentum and fly to wherever your destination is at the bottom of that hill. Now, something that I also recommend you try doing is you can use this to turn corners quickly because in this game, sometimes when you turn corners while sprinting, your character will drift to the side a little bit. So if you hit the top of a staircase and you want to quickly like jolt around the corner you can hit a slide and come out of it like a second later at the top of it to make that quick turn you can also slide off the edge of a ledge if you hit it properly while you're sprinting and it'll send you flying forward giving you a ton of momentum and this is fantastic for escaping buildings if a squad is rushing you and you're at the top and you need a way to get out if you hit this like kind of edge slide you can put this huge amount of distance between you and your attackers and they won't even know that you've gone that far already you'll be riding off into the sunset already you can also use the slide to push a corner if somebody's camping there and you know they're sitting there and it'll catch them off guard be really hard for you to hit and uh, you can aim and shoot just fine while you're doing that so another thing just to keep in mind your sliding is pretty important coming in at number three is understanding your attachments and which ones do what for your guns these are an pretty important part if you want to make your weapons as effective as possible in apex legends now for the standard assault rifles you can normally get like a barrel stabilizer a stock and uh, an extended mag and of course a sight for each weapon as well but it's insanely important to get both stocks and stabilizers especially for very high fire rate weapons it'll make them significantly easier to control and like you really can't play without them if you want to be that effective some weapons have unique attachments that can make like headshots more lethal or the rate of fire increase for shotguns or can turn them from a burst weapon to a full auto weapon and don't get me wrong these attachments are very useful but they are a little bit rarer and i wouldn't say don't necessarily make them a priority and go for the the stabilizers and also the stocks those are your bread and butter coming in at number two is going to be reviving your new teammates if they happen to bleed out and you got their banner and you would get them from the recovery station when they come in, it's vitally important that you leave them a weapon as soon as they spawn in because they're going to have absolutely nothing and all their abilities are going to be on cooldown. It's really easy to just jump out of that plane and get knocked straight away, especially if you're in the middle of a gunfight. It's better if you drop one of your weapons and just leave it at the base of it for that teammate to pick up because they can just jump right back into the battle and then get that momentum reset. Also, while you're calling in your teammates, unfortunately, there's no way to duck and cover or do anything. You can't crouch. The only thing you can do is look around and rotate your camera, but that's not always that effective. So you are a sitting duck while calling them in. Just keep that in mind. It's especially risky in the late game if there's only maybe one or two stations left and it's pretty obvious that you might be at one of them. So all I'm saying is be careful when you're bringing back the lads. But ladies and gentlemen, finally coming in today at the number one spot is the easiest noob trap and something that I see all the time nowadays. And this is just honestly don't stand still. A lot of newer players, it's very easy to sit there and shoot somebody and stand still for extended periods of time. Whether you're out in the open or not, it's just not really a good idea. The movement system in Apex Legends is built so that you can shoot while you're like kind of moving around or crouching or whatever and it's not going to affect your recoil or anything like that so take advantage of it for instance when you're scoped in on some enemies with the sniper dmr or something it's important to step back like every couple of seconds unscope re-examine your surroundings and then go back in or at least reposition because somebody else could be lining a shop up on you in that exact spot and if you move then they have to redo their whole process all over again while you're healing you can still move and crouch if you use both of those it's going to be hard for somebody to snipe you if uh, even if you're not in a immediate threat to them you don't have your gun out or anything you're still a harder target to hit so movement of any kind no matter what it is or where it is is always a good thing and i recommend you get into a good habit of trying to do that but anyways guys i think that is going to be the video for today this is my second video on apex legends and i'm still trying to get a feel for exactly what you guys want
want to see on this channel as far as content so let me know if you have any ideas of things you would like me to make videos on for this game i have plenty more ideas but i want to know kind of what direction you want this to be in and also if you guys are interested in PUBG, then make sure you go and check out my main channel which will be linked down below inside the description uh, that's what i'm posting over there and this channel will be strictly for apex legends but anyways guys i want to thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like rating it helps me out a lot as well as subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and want to see more apex legends videos this is your place to be and uh make sure you go follow my socials my twitter my instagram will both be linked down inside the description and without further ado i will see you all in the next one take it easy guys and peace out